saying, oh, actually, I should be saying Namaste because I am bringing you some stuff which I've been meaning to bring you for a long time, which I have named Masala Guitar. Um, you might have noticed that I am a little bit, well, Indian. <laughs> and you know, um, that whole Indian culture and the music thing has permeated my playing just a little bit. But because I kind of grew up in um, England and, you know, was around rock music and stuff, I kind of just use it as a little bit of spice. Just that influence which uh, seems to have kind of permeated into my consciousness and my playing as well. Now some of it I actually picked up from listening to guys like George Lynch and Warren D. Martini especially because they use a scale called the Melodic Minor which um, actually has a very very Eastern Indian kind of sound to it and it was very reminiscent of uh, the music which I heard while I was growing up um, you know but I was surrounded by like Bollywood movies and stuff which my parents loved And, you know, I loved them at the time as well. But then I got into rock music, yay! And got all these guitars and stuff and wanted to kind of, you know, rock out and just play Iron Maiden and Dokken and Rat and stuff like that. So I kind of stopped listening to indie music. But the essence of it still stayed within my playing, which was actually fascinating to discover. And so I wanted to do kind of some um, lessons which uh, show you how I uh, kind of just add that little bit of spice to my licks, to my playing, to my solos in order to kind of just give them a slightly different tilt sometimes. It's a big part of my playing and I'm going to show you how I do it. So this is the first of the uh, licks which I'm going to show and um, I wish I could take credit for this one but I actually learned this one from Guthrie Govan. <laughs> so hey you know this is a Guthrie inspired lick. So let's get going. I'm going to show you how to do this because it is cool to play this one. Yeah! But we've already had chicken tikka masala, garam masala, masala chai. Now it's time for masala guitar. Yeah! You know you wanna. You know you wanna. You know you wanna inject some spice into your play. Let's do it, man. Yeah! excited to show you this stuff because it's such an integral part of my playing and I love 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 playing this stuff adding little bits of it into my playing you know just the essence of it anyways um, like a lot of guitar players my playing is very much kind of rooted in the minor pentatonic and the box number one that we all know and love <laughs> kind of based around that and that's usually my pin in the map that's my common point to go to um, uh, if I get lost <laughs> so um, I know how to kind of change this scale up just a little bit in order to give me different sounds and essences and one of the things I love to do is make it a melodic minor sounding um, scale rather than just the usual pentatonic and it allows me to actually flick between the two so you know I can start playing in just a regular kind of blues thing and then go into the melodic minor sound a little bit kind of get those slightly Indian sounds in there and then switch back etc etc makes playing really interesting and makes the solos really interesting and stuff so the the difference between the two scales is that rather than playing a minor third I'm playing a major third and what I mean by that is our, our scale is actually made up of the first note, third note, fourth note, fifth, seventh, and then our octave. Now this third that I'm playing, which is on the 15th fret of the low E string, is a minor third. Or if I play the full scale, has a kind of sad kind of sound, right? Melancholy sound. And that's what the minor third does. Now if I change this note on the um, 15th fret of the 
uh, low E string to the 16th fret, I'm playing a major third. Now I usually don't play up here because I kind of find it awkward to stretch over. So I just play the 11th fret of the A string, which is the same note as the 16 on the um, on the E string. So now my scale, if I just play the pentatonics version, uh, it's going to change to this. So it's a little bit happier. Now if I fill in the gaps and play the full melodic minor scale, then we get this. Which is so cool because it actually incorporates both kind of major sounds and minor sounds so the happy sounds and the slightly kind of melancholy sad sounds now this differentiates it from the um, mixolydian scale which a lot of people think i'm playing um, a lot of the time but i'm not <laughs> and the difference is uh, that the mixolydian scale has a major sixth in it as well so if i play uh, the melodic minor just in this upper registry here has a particular sound. Now, the sixth note that I'm playing, which is um, here at the um, 13th fret of the B string, is the same note that I play in the regular minor um, scale. So if I play a regular minor, but because I'm changing it over to um, my major third, switch over point. Now Mixolydian actually uses a major sixth so instead of playing the um, the 13th fret of the B string I'd play the 14th fret. So it's going to change it subtly again so it'll be like this. So like I said, the essence of it changes very subtly, but because it's this major sixth, it's quite a happy sounding thing. Whereas when I play the minor sixth here for the uh, melodic minor, slightly sadder feel to it <laughs> so um, melodic minor imprint that in your mind imprint that in your mind <laughs> that's Indian inspiring of course it's inspiring because it's Indian <laughs> yeah <laughs> alrighty so the lick that I played um, was like this I'm gonna show you the essence of it and then walk you through it so this is something I learned from watching Guthrie Govan do a little lesson many many moons ago and it kind of became part of my playing. So uh, this is the lick here. <laughs> Shall I slow it down for you? <laughs> Alrighty, so essentially what I'm doing is this. So it's actually quite um, a structurally simple lick. I'm just playing two notes per string, but the tricky part of it is I'm sliding into notes um, and out of notes very quickly. And that makes it tricky to do, the, the accuracy of the slides in and out. But I'm going to walk you through it slowly. So the first thing I'm going to do is on the high E string, and the two notes that I'm going to play on the high E are the 16 and the 12. 
So what I'm going to do is pick at the 16 first, then I'm going to pick at the 12 and immediately slide over to the 16. Um, now this is where you get that kind of uh, that um, slurring kind of sound. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide back to the 12 and pick the 12. So it would be like this. And that's the move that I'm making. Then what I do is I go to the next string and just do the first note of the next string. And in this case it's the 15th fret of the B string. So when I add that in... We get that. Then what I'm going to do is this. So this time I'm picking up the 12th fret of the B string, sliding over to the 15, and when I pick it again, and then coming back to the 12th. And then I'm ending by coming to the 14th fret of the G string. Um, then I, I can do the same thing over on the G string and the, the two notes will be the 14 and the 13. Now this is a very very quick slide over, it's a very very short slide as well, so often what I do is this. So I do a bend or a pre-bend. So one of the two of those. So rather than doing the slide, which you can do, sometimes I just substitute the bend. And I end that phrase by coming up to the 14 on the D string. Now on the D string I'm going to pick up the, the um, 12, then pick it again and slide to the 14, and then back to 12. And end by coming over to the 14 on the A string. Then on the A string, um, I'm going to pick at the 14, then pick at the 12, slide over to the 14, slide back to the 12, and then I end by coming to the 11th fret of the uh, A string. And what I do now is do a half step bend on the 11th fret of the A string, bring it back down and then come to my root note which is the 12th fret of the low E string. So when I add that together slowly we get this. And often right at the end there I do this. Just because I like to. <laughs> that was really tricky showing slowly <laughs> and explaining. <laughs> Anyways, so you have all of those slides and as you speed them up, it actually turns into something which is very, very, very fluid. I can fill in gaps, play other notes um, in between and things like that. So there you go guys, a cool cool little masala lick for you, yeah! So use it in your playing, enjoy this um, um, tab below which kind of just explains the melo melodic minor scale that I am using and shows you the lick as well in tab form. Alright guys, um, have a great day, uh, remember to sub to the channel if you liked this video and give it a thumbs up as well, ping, it helps a great deal, so thank you so much, and I shall see you again soon for another video, another masala guitar video, yeah, have a great day guys, see ya, bye.